Okay, this is the front side and the other one is the back side. All right, front side. <clears throat> Same as your worksheet. This, there's one, there's X and Y coordinate, right? Input and output. You'll learn this later too. Um, your X, X sub one, Y sub one. And he, there's four coordinates all together. Don't ever choose a negative if you don't have to. I'm not choosing the negatives. You see the negatives here? Those are bad. Don't choose them if you don't have to. So we're gonna do these here. X sub one, Y sub one. Um, X sub two, Y sub two. So remember the formula is Y sub two minus Y sub one over X sub two minus X sub one y sub 2 okay let's see what y sub 2 is 0 y sub 1 is 0 is 2 so 0 minus 2 additive inverse negative 2 over x sub 2 is 1 minus 0 x sub 1 okay so the answer is just negative 2 negative 2 is D right there D all right letter C Oh, these are all negatives, so we have no choice. So therefore, if you, that's the case, just pick the first two. Okay, so this is x sub 1. And y sub 1. x sub 2. y sub 2. Ordered pairs. Okay, so m y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. y sub 2, negative 4, minus y sub 1, negative 5. And there's the minus and the negative additive inverse. X sub 2 is 2 minus X sub 1 is 0. 2 minus 0 is 2. This is 1 over 2. 1 over 2. Show your work. Make sure you write the formula and everything. So 1 over 2 is letter C. Okay, next one. Again, write the formula. They're all positive. I'm going to choose the first two. Or if you want to, choose the middle two. X sub 1, Y sub 1 x sub 2, y sub 2. So y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. y sub 2 is 13. y sub 1 is 8. 5 over x sub 2 is 4. X sub 1 is 3, subtract, or just 5. 5, you put E. Okay, next one, Y. Oh, I'm not choosing these guys. I'm choosing these two right here. They're positive. X sub 1, Y sub 1. X sub 2, Y sub 2. Okay, 
So y sub 2 minus y sub, I'll do it in a different color. y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. y2 and y1 is there. So it's 4 minus 1, which is 3, and 2, 4 minus 2. Okay, the rest is easy. Find the ratio x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So y sub 2 is 3 minus the 5. 3 minus 5, additive inverse, is negative 2. 3 minus 0. Same thing here, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2, and you do formula, y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1, y sub 2 is negative 1, minus 4, Hmm. Okay. Y sub. Oh, that's negative five. Let's see. X sub two is one, and then negative three. x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay? So the equation is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. That's the ratio, slope, rate of change formula, okay? We get 7 minus 3, which is 4, over 19 minus 5, which is 14, divide those by 2, you get 2 over 7. That's your answer. Same thing here. x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay, so you got y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. y sub 2 is 1, so 1 minus a negative 1. Minus, okay, so 2 negative like this makes a plus. That's 2 over 2 minus a negative 6. 8. Reduce by 2, you get 1 over 4. Okay, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Formula is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, y sub 2 is 8 and y sub 1 is negative 4. 2 negative plus plus like that. So 8 plus a positive 12 is 12. x sub 2 is 12 minus 4. Okay, um, reduce by 4, you get 3 over 1, or just 3. So here. Uh-oh, did I do something wrong? I must have, because the answer's not there. Oh, 12 minus, 12 minus 4 is 8. So, 3 over 2. 
That's what's wrong. Gee, I'm tired. Okay. Right here, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Y sub 2 is negative 5. Minus a 1. X sub 2, 27. Oh, this is a negative 5. No, no, I'm sorry, it's just minus a positive one. So you get additive inverse negative 6 over 27 minus 12. You get 15. Divided by 3, you get 2 over 5. No. Reduce it. Okay, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay, and then you do y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Negative 22. Minus y1. That's a negative 10 though. So that's a negative 10, so plus plus. You actually subtract because 1 is negative, 1 is positive. You get negative 12. x2, 16 minus 8, x1. Reduce that by 4, you get negative 3 over 2. Okay? x sub 2 minus x sub 1 over, I mean y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Okay, and there here's x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. 2 minus negative 6. 2 minus a negative 6. Get you 8. 4 minus this negative 6 here. Add, add, get you 10. Divide by 2, you get 4 over 5. Divide by 2, get 2 over. Can't go in evenly, this 2 can't go into 5. So your answer is 4 over 5. Alright, same thing x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. You do y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Y sub 2 is negative 13. y that's sub 1, which is 15. So that's negative 28. 7 minus a 1 is 8. I mean, 7 minus 1 is a 6. Oh, that's a negative 1. I'm getting this all wrong. This is a negative 1. So plus plus like that, so you get 8. Let me double check. Yeah, that's correct. Reduce it by 2 or 4. 4 into there is negative 7 over 2. So negative 7 over 2 in our answer. Yep, right here. Sure, we don't make little mistakes. So x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Formula is y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. y sub 2 is 5, negative 10. 5 minus a negative 10 plus plus, that's 15, over x sub 2, which is 35, minus x sub 1, negative 5, 
40. Divide by 5 is 3 over 8. x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay, the formula is last one of this kind. The back side is totally different. Okay, so y sub 2, two minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. y sub 2 is negative 9 minus 9. Additive inverse, that's a negative 18, over 11, minus a negative 4. This minus comes over at, get 15. Divide by 3, you get negative 6 over 5. Negative 6 over 5. 